my experience was a little bit unique because I um, had an extra couple weeks added on from when the French missionaries came in. So I actually was reported to the mission field by myself. Um, I wasn't with a big group of people um, coming in. So I had my first day, I had a little one-on-one -on -one with the president, with the assistants, and it was just a really small setting in which I learned about um, this is what we do in our mission. These are the standards. Um, these are the goals. And it was really cool to have that one-on-one -on -one time. My trainer was there, the assistants and, and the president, but it wasn't like a big group of people. I really, I really felt the spirit. I felt like my, my mission president um, was inspired and that really good things were, were on the way and really good things were, were going to happen. I liked my trainer pretty much right off. I could tell he was a really, really smart guy. And he had, he had been out for a while. He was near the end when he trained me. And so I was a little bit intimidated by like how much he knew and how much he had been through and how I was, I felt, you know, almost inadequate as a junior companion, you know, he's like a year and a half in and how much can I contribute really? Um, the language wasn't uh, super terrifying for me. Um, I spoke, I spoke French pretty well. And that first couple days, we didn't really cross any Chinese people. So when it came to like the language barrier in the first two days, it was okay. I think in the third, third or fourth day, you know, that's when we got sent back to Toulouse where I started. I started speaking to a whole bunch of Chinese people over there. And I felt like it was hard, but the, the, the Lord was helping me, you know, like I'd, I'd pull up a word in my memory that I'd learned like one time or that I'd heard one time in the MTC, you know, and under normal circumstances, like I shouldn't really be able to remember this word, but Heavenly Father, I was always, always praying for help with Chinese and Heavenly Father. Um, kind of plucked things out of my deep memory and brought them back when I needed them. Um, it was hard to, to speak Chinese at first, but I always had uh, my trainer, for the first three transfers, I was with my trainer for three. I always had him with me to, to help me out when I stumbled. By the time me and my trainer separated and I was by myself with a French missionary, um, I was pretty comfortable in... Um, talking to a Chinese investigator or a recent convert because of all the many experiences I had in my first three transfers with my trainer. I was warned in my interviews with my bishop and state president, like this, like they, they told me pretty straight up, like this will be the hardest thing you ever did in a lot of ways. Um, and so I was like, okay, you know, like it's gonna be hard. And then I came out and when it actually did prove to be hard, um, I was like, they were right. You know what I mean? I was like, oh, it turns out they were right. Um, but it's true that I didn't expect to be blown off like so quickly, I suppose. Like I, what I imagined in my head was like most of the conversations that we had on the street would be like me stopping someone, us talking for like two or three minutes and then them deciding, well, that was nice, but no thanks. And then them just like politely saying, not for me. You know what I mean? That's, that's kind of what I expected to happen um, because my family's French. Like I, I kind of know the, the ambiance and um, they're really good people, but um, a lot of them have been in the same church forever. And so that's what I expected. And it turns out that my first time street contacting, a lot of them were just like, like, right, like they saw us, they knew right away who we were, and they were like, no. And I didn't expect, I was kind of like you, I didn't expect that um, to be blown off as quickly as I was. And we did have a lot of really cool experiences talking to people that were really nice and, and really interested. and. We taught, we taught a lot at the beginning of my mission, which was good for me because I, I wouldn't want my first few transfers to be like, um, not representative of what my mission would, would be for real. So it was good that I got to teach a lot in my first three transfers because that gave me faith and hope that um, this work really does work and the Lord is, is behind it. But contacting, it, it was rough at times. You can sometimes go for hours and not have someone stop, but it's definitely, you can feel the Lord helping you and it's definitely worth all the effort you put in.